August 5th. It's a place of celebration. Maymont, one of the crown jewels of Richmond. People come here for so many reasons, for the space and the openness, but also for the beauty. The public park and historic estate sits high above the James. It is 100 acres of trees, trails, and tranquility. Maymont's an oasis in the middle of the island called Richmond. Peggy Singleman knows every square inch. My job is to take care of Maymont. I do it 365 days a year with an awesome team and wonderful volunteers to help us. Maymont's Director of Park Operations and Horticulture wears her green thumb proudly. Yes, I've been gardening since I was five years old. She has been keeping Maymont pruned for 38 years. Behind me is the Italian garden. It was completed in 1910, and it's just a showcase here at Maymont. From the Italian to the Japanese gardens, Peggy's fingerprints are all over Maymont. This garden here is one I'm very proud of because it was at its infancy when I came on. She feels it's her obligation to keep what the Dooleys gifted the city 100 years ago pristine. It's my personality that I want to give and deliver the very best I can and make it the best it can with what I have um, for people to come and enjoy. When she accepted the job in 1984, Maymont's grounds were, well, wilting. I mean, this place was a little rough when I came. A monumental job lay ahead. I was a, the just horticulturalist. I had a staff of me, myself, and I. <laughs> the once glorious gardens were neglected. It was severely overgrown. There were shrubs just shrouded in vines. Peggy accepted the task as tall as the trees. I was young and had the energy and just attacked the estate. Here's Ginger and here's Spartan. You've got multiple buds coming. You get that cluster. Peggy and her team have kept the grounds flourishing since. I just have to pull that weed. <laughs> making Maymont the attraction it is today. Brought this phoenix out of the embers and out of the ashes and risen it to what it is today. Walk through Maymont with Peggy. You get a horticulture history lesson at every turn. These berms are very reminiscent of gardens in Japan. Never did Peggy think she'd still be working for the nonprofit nearly four decades later. Maymont has been her calling. Yes, this is my passion. This is not a job. This is my career, my vocation. But like the seasons changing, so too is Peggy's life. The time has come for Peggy to turn in her shears for good. I want to welcome you all to my graduation commencement speech. <laughs> the very last of the horticulturists' signature talks. The Dooley's Garden. A graduation ceremony and celebration. This is a summertime picture of the garden. For a job well done. I'm going to miss it terribly. It's going to take a while to not wake up and go, <gasps> and have to say, that's not my job anymore. As she enters the autumn of her career, Peggy looks back at the impact she's had shaping Richmond's lush landmark. Oh my, it's an amazing sense of gratification on so many levels. And I'm going, ooh, look at that, that's fun. Peggy Singleman planting a seed for the next generation of Maymont's caretakers. Leaving it in good hands, and we're leaving it in this position where moving forward, nobody can do anything but succeed and make it better.